What's up guys, I'm Shirag and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how to integrate Slack with Lambda function and send messages or payload to Slack channel using Lambda function. So let's get started. So we will start with creation of the Slack application followed by the creation of the Lambda function and then uh, we will cover one more use case. So here I have already created the workspace uh, that is srcecd.slack.com, right? So here I have a few channels. So now for example, I want to send some messages from Lambda function to this hash welcome channel, right? So for that, the very first thing that we have to do is create the Slack application. So to create the Slack application, you have to log in into the Slack and then navigate to api.slack.com slash apps. Right. And once you are here, you need to click on create an application. Now here you need to give the application name. So I will say Lambda application. So you can change this name later. So no need to worry about the name here. Now it's asking for development Slack workspace that is SRC ECDE in my case. So I will select that. And once you are done with this configuration, click on create app. Now, once the application is created, uh, you need to click on uh, incoming web hooks, right? And now you have to activate incoming web hooks. So we will say on. Now, once you have activated the incoming web hooks, you need to scroll down then here you need to click on add new web hook to workspace. So click on that. This will generate the web hook URL for the given channel. So now it's asking us for where should a Lambda application post, right? So this Lambda application is the name of our application and it's asking that where you want this application to post the messages, right? So from the drop down, you need to select the channel. So you can also select the direct messages and select the users and you can also opt out for channels. So I will say welcome channel. And once you are done with that, say allow. Now, as soon as you click on allow, you can go back to Slack and you will see the notification saying uh, whichever user added an integration to this channel that is Lambda application, which is the name of our application. Correct. So now coming back to this tab that is like API. So here it will give us the webhook URL and we are going to use this webhook URL to post or send messages from Lambda function to Slack channel. So here we also have the curl command to test or uh, post the message to channel. So we are going to test this, right? So let me copy this. So here what we are posting is hello world. So I will quickly open the terminal. So here I will simply copy and paste that command and I will say enter. So now it says uh, OK and now we can go back to Slack and we can see the message that is hello world from the Lambda application, right? So this is how it will work. Now once you are done with this configuration, go back to AWS management console and here we are going to create the Lambda function. So navigate to Lambda management console. Once you are within Lambda Management Console, click on create function. Give a function name. I will say Lambda Slack integration. I will select runtime as Python 3.8. Under permission, I will say use an existing role. And here I will select Lambda underscore role. lambda underscore role and I will say create function. Now within that IAM role that is lambda underscore role, uh, we have permission that is for CloudWatch logs and S3 bucket, uh, which has two action basically read and write, right? So I can also show you this uh, within IAM management console. So this role basically have this AWS Lambda execute policy, which give permission for CloudWatch logs and S3 bucket. 
So well, now moving back to the Lambda function. Now go back to configuration and navigate to function code pane. So now uh, here we are going to use URL lib3 to send the post request of the message to the Slack application. So I will simply say import URL lib3. And now within uh, Lambda handler, we will say HTTP equal to URL lib3 dot pool manager. And then we will define the payload that we want to send. So I will say data equal to text. And I will say some sample message from Lambda function. Correct. And then finally, we will send this payload or the message to the Slack channel. So for that, we will say r equal to HTTP dot request. followed by the method. So that's going to be the post method. And it will follow the webhook URL. Right, so we will get the webhook URL from the application that is Slack API. So copy this webhook URL and paste it over here. Followed by the body or the payload that we want to pass. So we will say body equal to json dot dumps what we want to send that is data followed by the headers so we'll say headers equal to a dictionary that is basically the content type content hyphen type followed by application slash json right and i think we are done so we are going to save this function i am simply reloading this function just making sure that everything is saved successfully and i think it is so now let's go ahead and run this lambda function and this lambda function ran successfully. Now let's go to the Slack and have a look if we have the message. So as you can see here, we have a new message that says sample message from lambda function, right? So this is how you can integrate lambda function and Slack and send the notification or any updates or any messages from lambda function to the Slack channel, right? So now uh, apart from that, I would like to highlight uh, one more thing. So you need to make sure that you are passing the data within this format that is a uh, text as a key. If you pass anything else, so if I say uh, text or any other key, then it will return uh, status code 400. So let's have a look. So if I say test again, it will run successfully, uh, but you will not be receiving any messages over here, right? So in case if you want to see the status code, I think it's r dot uh, status, uh, I believe then it will return the status code, right? So you can print it on your own. So make sure uh, the format follows text column and the string, right? No list, no dictionary, it should be a string. So that's the format uh, that basically Slack accepts uh, in order to publish the message to the given channel, right? Now uh, let's take one more scenario. So for example, we have an S3 trigger on this Lambda function and we want to send the content of that file to the Slack channel. So how we can do that? So for that, uh, the very first thing that we will require is the S3 bucket. So let's navigate to S3 management console. Now here we will 
quickly create a bucket. I will say lambda hyphen slack integration and I will say create. So now the bucket is created successfully. So here we are, that is lambda hyphen slack hyphen integration. Now as a next step, we need to set the trigger. So come back to the lambda function, click on add trigger within designer pane. And we will say S3, select the bucket name. So I will say lambda slack integration and I will leave rest of the option add as it is and I will say add. Now we have successfully uh, added the trigger but we have some unsaved changes from this lambda function so let's save this. Now we have the S3 bucket, we have the trigger, now we need to update the code of our lambda function to read the content of the file that is being uploaded within the given S3 bucket that is lambda slack integration in my case, right? So I have already did a tutorial on the same. Uh, I will paste the link of that tutorial in the video description. But here uh, I will be using this code to read the content of the file from S3 bucket on trigger, right? So I will simply copy this lines and we will also require Boto3 to be imported right so i will copy this and i will paste it over here and i will say import boto3 correct and i will certainly save this function now here instead of this static message so let me put this under if event and now instead of this data I will say data equal to text colon the file content okay and I will save this now what we have to do all we have to do is go ahead and upload a file within the s3 bucket so i will quickly create a text file and i will upload that so we'll say hello from s3 and i will say upload dot txt and i will save this Now I will go back to the S3 bucket that is lambda slack integration. So here we have that is upload.txt and I will say upload. So now the file is uploaded, lambda function should be triggered and we should have the message as what? That is hello from S3. So let's have a look within slack itself. So as you can see here we have the message that is hello from s3 right so basically this was one of the use case i'm not sure this use case might be helpful in order to send the content of the file uh, to the slack but you can certainly set the notification if certain type of file or the file with certain extension is uploaded uh, within s3 bucket then you can set those triggers uh, for that to stay updated and informed right so apart from this, you can also use Slack for updates and notification as I mentioned for certain changes or any other updates uh, that is happening within AWS, right? So you can have multiple members within this channel and at the same time, everyone will be updated uh, within a single call. So well, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.